1990 DSM and we're wiring in an R2 box. And still get the tack to work without blowing up the tack interface. So I'm going to just go by the wiring here. Take a look at all of the pieces that you should see. Excuse the mess, this car hasn't ran in three years. But when it did, it ran great. That's the tack interface. We have the plug for the coil. And the coil pack is right there. So that just plugs right in. The four plug wire of the normal 90 coil pack. Plugs into a four pin connector that I have rewired. This is normally a three pin connector. White to white. Blue to red and black to make sure this is right to black. Notice there's no yellow. The yellow would have come off of the tack interface right here. And you have to remove it from the coil pack side or the arc two box will explode it. It'll catch on fire. And we don't want fires under the essence. So, here's the four pin connector from the wire loom. We have black to orange, yellow to blue, and red, which is spliced in at the uh, tack interface here. Excuse me, that was yellow and green. I can see it now. Yellow and blue goes to the white, which is the white on the tack interface. And what I thought was black, let's make sure that's black. It is. And the white will run to yellow out here on the tack interface. Now all of this, wish I had another hand, we'll plug right in. To the coil pack. And your tack will still work. If your arc box happened to give out on you, you can unplug it, plug your coil packs back in, and I believe the only thing you won't have is the tachometer, but you'll get home. And that's the way I wired it in my 90 DSM. I'm sorry again about how she looks. She'll be running again real soon. The motor's in the shop, and she's ready to go in. Hope I can answer any questions if you got them. Thanks for watching.